Guys, it's Devil's Assassin here, and today we're going to be watching a 3 vs 3 on Total War Rome 2 that I played earlier today. Now, I am going to be starting with the, the army compilations. I am the Arverni. My allies are Rome and Macedon. Now, I'm going to go over these real quick so I don't take forever just talking about the army compilations. And my enemies, the other team is Egypt, Sparta, and Bactria, which is over here. You guys can't see them yet because they're behind this hill right here. I'll give it a few seconds, you'll be able to see them after I play it, the video. <clears throat> And, oh yeah, let's show the army compilations. I have four Celtic Slingers, and I have one Archer unit over here, which I don't know why I didn't bring it over here, the Gallic Hunters. I should've. And he has one, two, Macedon has one, two, three, four, six units, six ranged units. And... A bunch of shield bearers and thorax pikemen and a foot companion. He has about six spears and yeah, I'll just say spears. Six spears all together, I'll just say. And two sword units. Looks like two roll peltas. Yeah. And one shield bearer as a general, and he's got one Thessalian calf, two Thessalian calf, three Thessalian calf, and he's got two Sizen calf. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good build, I'd say. And the Romans have two calf there, four Praetorian guard it looks like, yeah, four Praetorian guard, two Triari, and Three armored legionnaires. Not much cav. Oh yeah. Actually, there's two more cav. Oops, sorry. So he's got four units of cav, and it looks like Egypt's doing his little uh, new box here. You guys could say it is. Three thorax pikemen. Four thorax pikemen. Two thorax swordsmen, and three royal peltas. We'll say. All right, let's make this quicker. Uh, yeah, let's just all spears for Sparta, of course. Whole bunch of royal Spartans, it looks like. Yeah, they're about all royal Spartans. And one, two, three, four, five. Five units of calf, <clears throat> which was supposed to be max four of the same units, and it looks like Sparta didn't fall that rule all the way to a T. I guess he did. But when I'm being the same units for a horse, I mean only four units of horses, not two horse archers and three melee. I don't, I don't know. I'm picky about that. <laughs> All right, let's start off this battle. Get it going. <clears throat> now, I'm going to push up my slingers, which I shouldn't have done, as you guys will see later on why. And I'll pull up to my cav right away, because I figure I have the cav advantage, but you guys will see what happens. And Rome sends two of his cavalry up beside me. And Sparta is also moving on our left flank with all of his cavalry. I got my one lone unit of hunters here, Gallic hunters, just bending down, waiting their time, waiting for the time to come. Yeah, I pull these guys up, and then I pull up the rest of my other units, and I didn't realize that they had mercenary Syrian archers that are just gonna completely wreck my slingers here in a second you guys will see <clears throat> I should have 
got some archers. I wasn't thinking at all. And I am going to charge these guys. Oh, oops. <laughs> I'm not going to do that yet, I guess. But you guys are right now. Warriors, move out! Sparta is pushing hard on our left flank. Bringing his Tarantine cab and trying to get behind us, it looks like. Yeah, that's exactly what he's trying to do, is get behind us. <clears throat> and he's going to try to focus all of his range units on these two horse archers right here, which I don't really think is a good idea because the horse archers are just going to run away. There we go, he called them back. Never mind. And my guys are just firing away. Let's see what's going on with Sparta over here. Yeah, they're kind of just... Yeah, they're charging. Moving fast. Kind of right here, it's just kind of like a skirmishing phase for it, for a moment. Not much to talk about. Seniors, leave your sections! Egypt still in this new box. He stays in this for a lot of the time. Which I don't really agree with, but if it gets you a win, I guess it gets you a win. And I'm now charging my cab over here. It's laggy a little bit. Lost the units on the field. And one of my slingers have routed, and I'm bringing one of my Gala Connors up here to take their spot. Now I'm bringing in my other unit of cab. Oh, no. Jerome's bringing in his cab right now, and I'm trying to flank behind and attack the enemy. This is what I'm trying to do right now. And I, it kind of worked until these guys come, which they are now. That's what I was kind of waiting for, was, in, was for them to send a unit of cav to, so I could intercept their cav. And I'm, I wasn't winning this engagement right here, so I decided to just throw in my chosen swordsman and see, hope for the best at least. That's what I was doing. I was just hoping for the best. Looks like Macedon is pulling up his archers, which I don't know what he's doing that for. He needs to get him up not so grouped up like that. It's not good. Yeah, he just... Yeah, he's gonna lose his engagement if he don't group up, stop grouping up his units like that. <clears throat> and here I am pulling my nobles up. And I, I was kind of winning this engagement over here, or actually I was winning it, until this general got involved and until this unit of cap got involved. And the Roman right here, he kind of Spading back and forth, he's he's moving and attacking and he's charging, which is a good idea, but he need he should have took one of his units and pulled back and attacked these guys right here. That's just my opinion, though. And then I bring in my general, or I was about to until I realized that they have a lot more than me. I pulled back both of my cavalry units, hoping to save them. <clears throat> and then I just threw in my other swords, my rest of my units. Because these guys are losing confidence very quickly. And you guys will see here in a minute as to why. I should have threw him in a little earlier because of this right here. The 
both started routing. I thought they lasted a little bit longer than that, and then the Egyptian Borax Pot Swordsman came out of nowhere and attacked my Osworn, which I wasn't aware of at the moment, because I was too busy microing my calf. And now my calf is in the back, and I'm about to attack their, their archers. What's going on over here? What happened to Sparta's calf? I guess it got direct. Because they only got one unit left. Like half of a unit, too. And Roman's calf survived. The Romans did. And I'm pulling in all my infantry and just going all out on these guys because they had the upper hill advantage, they had ranged units, they had better ranged units than me, so the only thing I could do was just, hopefully I had better cav and just the, throw my units up that hill and hope for the best. That's the only thing I could think of at that moment. And then I bring my general over here, kind of give these guys morale to see if it helps. But it doesn't really matter because the Egyptian cab is coming in and they're about to attack me, I believe it looks like at least. Let's get a nice cinematic view real quick. Looks like he's still got a little box going on right here. A little bit. Uh, now he's moving on his pike, so that box is kind of ruined now. And Sparta is now charging these Romans. Uh, I thought he was, but he's just pulling forward a little bit. And I am trying to take out their units, but I failed miserably. And it's not looking so well for me. As you can see, I lost my battle. They had the upper hill advantage. But you'll see in the end, it, it was. I, I did worse. <laughs> Which I guess is all that matters is that you had fun. And this was, this was pretty fun. It's kind of annoyed by the fact that I got, you know, knocked out kind of early in the in the game because they had the upper hill advantage and I couldn't really do much about it. I should have just pulled back and helped my units, my other guys out right here, instead of just going up that hill. That's, that's what I should have done. But it's kind of over now. And Rome is now sending his Praetorian Guard on the left flank. I guess to face these Spartan pikemen. Oh no. No. He's going over more. He's flanking completely around the Spartan pikemen. And it looks like he's going to try to attack these guys right here. The, the archers and the royal Spartans. That's what it looks like. What he should have done in my opinion was probably like... Maybe attack two of these guys and then try to push in and attack these guys right here. And have these two units attack them, kind of should distract them. Have another two units attack these guys from the rural Spartans from behind. The Spartan pikemen, I mean. And then push these two units up and just sandwich these guys. And then after that, you, you can just charge after these guys right here. That's what I think he should have done. But as you can see... He just charged all of his units up here, which I can't much I can't say much because I charged up a hill like a fool, which I shouldn't have done. But hopefully it pays off. Can't ruin the battle for you guys. <laughs> and. 
Looks like the Egyptian Cav is doing absolutely nothing. There we go, he's moving it now. That's the only Cav left, I believe. Yeah, that looks like it. Besides, this is very small unit, the Solian Cav. That's, that's it. <clears throat> oh, oops. I forgot about Roman's Cav. Ugh. Yeah, he's still got... Yeah, he's got still almost two full units of Cav over here. There we go. Oh, no. See, he was going to attack there, but I guess he changed his mind last minute, and it didn't work out too well for him. Well, it don't look like it's going to work out too well for him. Yeah, Rome and Massimo are just slinging them freaking slingers. <laughs> That's about all that's going on right now. Besides them just wiping out the rest of my units. That's about it. And then... Oh, look. What's this? Rome's charging his cav. Nope. Nope. He decided the last minute not to go. But... They charged him. Nice. That was a good charge. Now I need to pull him back out and do that again. Pull him out. Is he gonna do it? No. Oh. I don't think he is. Okay. Rome needs to take his units right here and just hit him. Hit him on these sides, try to break through. That's what he needs to do right now. The Romans over here, they're they're actually gaining some ground, surprisingly. But I don't know if I don't know if it'll be enough to stop all of these guys. Cause he, he can just pull up back his hero Sparta, cause they're doing absolutely nothing. He can just pull these two guys back and attack the Romans. Because it looks like they are gonna. It looks like they got this wrapped up almost. Maybe. <clears throat> yeah, the Roman archers. Just mowing down. Yeah, they're giving everything they got to these Egyptian archers. Look at it. See how fast they die. Yeah. They just got destroyed. And this thin little line. Back trains are now retreating. Now he got free two units over here that he can take and add to this fight. Praetorian Guard is still mowing over these guys as of right now. But it looks like he's pulling them back. Now it looks like he's trying to have at least one of them attack these Spartan pikemen. No? It looked like he was. I guess he pulled it back again. Cavalry at it again. Yep. They got them good from behind. Or from the side, I suppose. Such a nice shot. Mm. Nice view right here. Sun gleaming down, blood on the ground. Oh, yeah. Beautiful day to die. <laughs> mm. 
these Romans are still going at it, this Praetorian cab, or Praetorian guard. Small unit of cab just wrecked these guards up. Oh, nope. They're losing now. And they're retreating. Looks like this unit of cat Spartan white men are just gonna get freaking sandwiched here, looks like. Yep. They're over with. And it looks like he made one a unit of Spartans. Yeah. Nope, never mind, he didn't. He's just gotta face these three thorax pikemen now. Hmm. I don't think I don't think they'll pull it off. No. They're all exhausted. And these here's a Sparta. They're losing actually. See what happens. They got him surrounded, but is it enough? I don't know. Dang, that guy just got stabbed in the stomach. Sometimes I like watching these little fights just go on. Sometimes it can be more interesting than the, strat the, whole, the whole strategy of this. And now I say these guys are going to charge. And... Well, it looks like it's about over, guys. I think Egypt and... Egypt and Sparta got this wrapped up. I think they're going to take the win for them. Egypt, Sparta, and Bactria. And now these Armored Legionnaires are going to try to attack these guys, but what, what are these Spartans doing right here? They need to just, they're probably waiting for these guys to attack and come behind and attack, yep. They're going to come from behind and hit them. That's exactly what they're doing. Yeah. Oh, Armin Legionnaires, the last of survivors. I don't, I don't think they can last. No, it's over. And there they go. They, they are, they are retreating. They're falling back. <clears throat> that was, that was kind of close. Now guys, I know I wasn't that good on the commentary, but as time goes by, I, I should get better, as this is my first commentary, so please don't judge too harshly. Now, you guys have a nice day, and hopefully I'll be back tomorrow for more Total War.